All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. I need. I think I need this mic closer to my face. I'm gonna mute it real quick. There we go. This thing's always moving around, so volume's always shifting and changing. Okay, so I am looking for a pattern that I saw. Is it in this one? I think it's in this one. Uh, can you explain what a triplanar material and how it works? I'm a newbie. Sigh. It's, it's all good, man. We're all newbies at something. For example, I don't know how to work on cars. If you told me to change a tire, I'd probably break my arm. Uh, let's see if I can't help explain that. Let's see if the image is in here. It is not, so we're going to grab it real fast. Dang it. Okay. I wonder if there's higher res images of that one. Uh, but yeah, I will explain triplanar. Uh, I'll simplify it a bit so that it's uh, easy to swallow. It's not. It's not too complicated. Do a tire changing stream. <laughs> That's hilarious. So right now I'm trying to identify this corner here, and then I will talk about triplanar. I just need to find this image. It's killing me. So I have it here, but it's very, very low res. I mean, maybe I can just do like a search Google for images. Oh, maybe this, maybe this one's high res enough. Oh, yeah. Mmm, delicious. You're ready to absorb knowledge? Dude, me too. Me too, man. Okay, so we're going to grab this one, get rid of that. We're going to copy this one. Paste Rooney. Holy scale. Wow, look at the res difference. <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. <laughs> I'm going to have to down res that later. Uh, okay, so let's look at triplanar. I'll just move this over here for now. <clears throat> so to simplify the idea of triplanar, I will look to a model. Oops. So when you look at this guy, right? See how he's unwrapped like this? If there are no UVs on this uh, sphere... If you were to look from the top uh, and do a UV project, so this is the Y, correct? If you were to do that from the top, uh, from the Y, the X, and the Z at the same time, and then map textures or materials to that, like a box unwrap is very close to a triplanar unwrap. Um, or how triplanar kind of reads a mesh. So X, Y, and Z is telling the texture in the material to project from the X, Y, and Z directions. What's up, Graffiti? And uh, hey, Nock. And Muffin, how you doing? Uh, so with that in mind, 
triplanar materials are doing that in the shader or material. And then um, there is some stuff happening in the background that helps blend the transition to that happening. So let's, let's now look at something in here, for example. So like this guy has no UVs, right? I mean, it's got top down UVs, but like this looks like I auto unwrap this, which means there would be seams here. Bosco, what's up? Things are looking sexy as fuck. Thanks, man. So this guy, obviously no UVs. This guy has auto UVs, so you can see there's some seams here. It's probably box unwrapping. Um, so if we find the material, where are we at here? So we're using the two blend material, which I've set up to now have triplanar. Make sure these are on the same. Oh God. That's right. I need to set this up to actually uh, stone. And then stone. Actually, let's use that one. And then stone M moss. So D, Moss N. I'm inputting these because they're not going in by default. Moss AO. And then we'll just make eh, we can leave that. And the master normal we'll just make we'll just make a flat normal so that we're not getting random information. Okay, so you see there's still a seam here, right? But uh, what's happening in the shader with triplanar is it's projecting directly from this way, directly from this way, and directly from this way. And it looks like there's a little bit of some type of issue going on here. Maybe in the detail normal? Because the detail normal is not triplanar? I didn't even think about that. But the that'll have to be triplanar as well. Yeah, you can see the, the old UVs in the detail normal. Hmm. Hmm. Anywho, so the other thing about triplanar is um, <laughs> nice graffiti. Atlas, relax. Orient pack. Dunsies, ship it. Um, some things to think about with triplanar materials is their world space. So if you have any details that you really like, they need to be not, not in the triplanar. So like this mask, for example, is being mapped... Uh, to a zero to one inside the UV set. So you're getting a little bit of the stretching in the mask itself, but everything that's coming through the mask is triplanar. So if you see me move this, let's see if I can't do that this close. No, I can't. Okay, that kind of works. So if we zoom in here. So all of the UVs or all the textures are being tr projected using UVs that are world space UVs instead of tangent based or object space UVs, not tangent based, object spaced. So the textures will stay put while the rest just kind of moves. And you can see too, like you can almost basically guarantee texel density with this approach. Now I will say that triplanar is definitely more expensive uh, how expensive? I have no idea, but um, yeah, it's you don't want to use it all over the place. That's for sure. I'm using it all over the place, but I'm not trying to ship the scene or turn it into something that I can claim can be real time. It's real time in the sense that I have frame rate, <laughs> right? Um, so let's. Let's see if I can't explain this a little bit further. So I can change the tiling of the stone detail or the stone itself. And then the, let's see, moss fresnel. I can adjust that if I need to. So that's like how quickly it starts to get the lighting that's passing through the side. This song's serious. 
But uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's essentially what I'm doing. The detail, normal tiling, you can see, I can control that individual of the uh, stone tiling. I'm going to undo all this. It's pretty useful when you're when you're blocking stuff out though, that's for sure. Let's put the standard material back on there. So one of the nice benefits is like you have this material, right? And you're like zoom in, everything looks pretty good. Uh but maybe I need this longer. You can do that and the materials will not stretch. The only thing that's technically stretching is the masks and the, um, and the normal bake that I baked out previously, but everything else will kind of maintain its, its resolution, which is pretty nice. And you can see these ones aren't being affected because it's a direct, uh, it's a direct X negative X direction. Like this is positive X and this is negative X. Um, so you can see when I move this around, this face here you can see is, uh, or side of the asset is skewing a little bit, but also at the same time, you can see there's information that's not moving. And that's because that's the blend. This is, uh, because of the angle this is at, it's blending between a side view or a side projection and a top projection at the same time. And I think think actually let me undo all this I think I don't think it's exposed in here no it is not exposed in here but uh, if I go into the shader I can change how much that is uh, blending so the the node is just called a, a triplanar sample so if you right click and type in triplane you'll get a triplanar sample and then you can just put your texture in here and then you can see how much it's tiling. And then uh, I think fall off is what we're looking at for um, how that works. So if I say, let's do, let's do a stone, no, sorry, stone uh, float. That will be called a uh, stone blend. And then we'll start at zero and then we'll go to one, I guess. And we'll have it default at one. And then we'll just do this. And then we'll expose this. Yeah, so it's a property, so it'll, it should be exposed. And I'll make sure it's, uh, if you scroll down here, this is the order in which you will see them on your shader. So let's go in here and make sure stone blend. We'll just put that at the top so it's easy to find. We'll compile the shader. Uh, yeah, Unreal has the same thing. I believe they just have a triplanar node as well. So let me close this. So if I click on this guy, so let see there's a stone blend now. Uh, let's see how this looks. Yeah, so with the blend off, you can see uh, basically it's it's showing you all three projections at the same time which is causing this kind of banding going throughout. Uh, and you just need to turn that up so that the blending doesn't do that. <laughs> they basically mask one direction from the other direction as they pass over each other, or as it changes the angle from one uh, axis to the next. So hopefully that explains triplanar for you. Now I'm gonna go in and delete that now. I don't want that control. It should just be defaulted to one. Close that. But yeah, I've I've now exposed a bunch of stuff like uh, the roughness of the mud or smoothness rather, and the uh, what's that? We got mud color. Right. And then uh, we got edge highlight color. 
which you can probably see best from this angle. So this is the edge highlights. Like this is arguably better looking, but I think it might be a little too noisy. I'll like tune this based on like exposing this is really nice because I'll be able to do it on only the areas that I feel like need to have that pop. And then the rest I can just not have that. And so it's not as busy. Uh, detail, normal tiling, stone tiling. So this is just changing the tiling of the triplaner as well. Uh, what do you think of the news of the visual shader of Unity? I think it's great, man. Uh, it gives Amplify, uh, the Amplify team, uh, some competition, which will possibly push them to create better, a better material editor in the long run. Um, some of the other aspects, like, look, this is all trying to try planer too now. So see, I can scale these rocks up. Oh, shit. That's interesting. So as I scale these up, the normal strength gets all crazy. I'm going to have to look into why that happens. Um, I think it's good. Expo exposing full color range to artists. <laughs> hey, Blue. Oh, it's dangerous. Dangerous. Be careful. Uh, what was I going to say, though? Um, yeah, I think overall, I think it's a great move. I also am curious as to how far they're going to take it because, um, in my personal opinion, Unity's model is to give you a tool that has most of the features and then utilize their markets, their asset store to uh, monetize the rest of the features, right? So... Uh, that's just my kind of like personal view on it and it may be completely wrong but if i was unity i would give you hey thanks for the follow man um fosco thanks for the follow again dude um if i was the unity team i would give you the shader editor with most of the features but then allow it to give the ability to add lots of features into it that people could monetize through the asset store and then I could get a cut of as Unity. Do you know what I mean? So there's much more money in giving you a shader editor for free that's got 90% of the assets needed, like shader editor wise, and then let the last 10% be created infinitely through the asset store. And then you can profit off of the, like even say for example, it was 1% of the profits. There's much more money in that. And it allows them to keep the editor free. So that's always pretty nice. Tobias, what's up, man? I don't know. Does that make sense? I think. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, boss, that's, that is kind of odd. <laughs> it's all good. Happy to have you, man. Okay, so today, it's already 7.30, so I don't even know how far we're going to get. But today, I'm going to start working on the detail stuff for this to make this a tileable trim pattern. Uh, I did some sketching. Let me see if it's over here. I'm going to move it. I tried to email it to myself, but maybe it was too high res. I was sketching it on the, the iPad. You're happy to follow my stream? Oh, dude, awesome. Hmm. Feels good, man. Yeah, I don't see it. F. F. So we're going to look at this and figure out what needs to happen. So I'll be in uh, Moto most of the day. Or most of the stream. Uh, like, from now on till the end of the stream. So an hour and a half. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's save this. Maybe I'll keep this open unless uh, if someone has a question about it. Man, I'm starting. There's certain areas I'm really like feeling good about right now. 
Like this, this spot right here feels really nice. Hmm. Did you know the other nice thing about uh, triplanering the moss is I can make blobs of meshes that are triplanered of just the moss. And technically, I can smush them into areas like this and give the moss some like thickness, some volume. And minus the edge, maybe I do a depth fade on the on those blobs so that they kind of fade into the rest of the mesh. And then that would just kind of, you could kind of wherever you want, kind of blob the the moss up a bit. Oh, that's that's interesting. Oh, shit. Okay. Hang on. Maybe. No, I won't do it this time. I'll do it later. Got to stay focused. Let's put this up here. Uh, Tobias, I just went over, so I set this all up. It's all triplanar. I'll show you real quick. I'm moving. So minus the masks and the unique normal bake, all the materials should hold up and not get stretched, even though I'm stretching the geometry. But you definitely get some uh, weird normal stuff as you can continue to skew things. Chicken rice and curry sauce. Man, that sounds amazing. Okay, man, it's been a while since I've been a moto. We don't... Well, maybe we need that. Who knows? We don't need that. Let's, um, we have a trim. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Is this the source file for it? Yes. Cool. Yeah, so see, we have some spaces here. So we've got one, two, three slots. Uh, maybe we can make this pattern tile inside of this slot. Um, so if I hit tab on these, you can... Whoa. Oh, Unity controls in Moto. Doesn't work, guys. Doesn't work. So... Right now we've got these that tile. Let's uh, let's make some more, huh? Man, green curry chicken sounds good too. You guys are killing me. I might do this. I'll do this just so I can kind of see a bit clearer as to what's going on. Of course, it's not going to really, really work, but it can help. Like, I won't fix perspectives and stuff, but uh, I think there's a perspective correction tool in here now, too. So, But I'm not too fussed about it. I just need it to be a little bit straighter so I can understand. So I'll copy that and then I'll go back into here. Just put that over here. I think it's control, yeah, control O to optimize the canvas. And I might have to do a review on this, uh, this um, pure ref 
there's some good stuff with it like using the arrow keys will frame up your images and then you can just scroll out and if you double click an image it just zooms in on it mm, delicious Uh, lots of add-ons. You mean plugins and stuff? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty rare that you need to pay for them, though. And it's, um, I mean, I think if you want uh, the ultimate control and customization of any of the three packages, you're going to need plugins. Uh, let me know if the music's too loud, by the way, guys. Music's pretty intense tonight. No problem, Penguin. There's a, I have a resource page uh, in the Discord community that actually links to a lot of the tools that I use in Moto. Just as a heads up. So we've got one, we've got one, two, three, straight, straight. There's a little pattern there, which looks like something like this. And it looks like it merges into itself and then continues. Hmm. Might try and make that shape first. Maybe I'll make this and then slap that on. Enjoy your food, man. make this shorter just for the sake of working with it not that short <laughs> I need to make this smaller too Ali what's up man Oh no, really, Tobias? That sucks, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any any way that you can start making money doing this type of stuff is when you can like work towards you know getting better at this stuff. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah. Oops, I don't want the wall wall mode on.
How many time do you work on that scene? What do you mean? Like, how long have I worked on this scene? Uh, I'll start saying that it doesn't matter. A long time. <laughs> a long time. Whoops. You can't tab that. That sucks. A while. Uh, a non-traditional amount of time. Or the, or the best answer that I tend to hear in the industry quite often. Uh, long enough to get it to where it's at right now. <laughs> That's a good one, right? Made me giggle. And then I got irritated because I wanted to know. So I understand your frustrations. <laughs> so you can see right now I'm just kind of like throwing some shapes out. Uh, when you don't know if you work too much on that, what do you mean? Oh man, boss, that's terrible. Um, yeah, so I mean, the idea for this scene is to not really try and do it quickly. It's more to like show, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I've, I've explained it a couple times. I don't really know how to explain it very well, but it's basically to try and show how to do things certain ways and take questions and answers. So it's more of like a demo that's continuous. I think we're going on like, I mean, not not time worked directly on it, but I've been in this scene for at least a, at least a year. At least, it's gotta be more than that. And I don't usually work on it outside of the stream. So you're thinking maybe like, I don't know, four hours a week or less. I'm not into it too often. Which in itself is a bit of a downside because you lose it, you end up losing a lot of momentum. B. John, what's up, man? 200 hours plus. Aloha, what's up? 303, how you doing, buddy? Oh, man, Ali. Don't worry about it, man. You do you, man. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a negative... Uh, <laughs> Treat yourself. When you get your first paycheck, you make sure to treat yourself because you're the one who earned it. How about that? You make sure you make sure you treat yourself well. So one of the shapes I know that's in here is it's like a... Uh, let me see if I can't make it happen. I think it just goes here. Let's delete that. I don't know how I'm going to make this flow, but we will we will find a way. Oh. 
this corner is a problem. There we go. Oh. We're going to massage this into place, guys. It's going to work. Morning, Kenu. How you doing? You binge watch YouTube recordings? Dude, that's freaking crazy. And at the end of it, you're just like, why Why aren't you further dead? <laughs> like, what is this? Is this some type of sick joke? Oh, I need to... Where is that? Multi-slice. Yes. Is this some type of sick joke, then? Why would you do this? Oh, what? Ooh, this the song feels good. So these also need to be the same height. Or extruding out the same amount. Oh, what the hell? Hang on. So what I'm doing is uh, I've decided where I want this to tile. And as long as I can get the left, this one, to work with the right one, then we're in business. Okay, then we delete that one. Oh. I'll make sure I don't have them doubled up on each other. F. Okay, hang on here. Okay. Ah, uh, why? Oh, 
I'm not sold on it yet. Okay. Well, it tiles now. I think this needs to come up quite a bit, actually. These guys, I'm going to do this. Need a little bit more control of the curve. Have you made anything in VR yet? I have not. Muff, and you started binge watching too? Smokey O, what's up, man? Okay, so this, this piece kind of works. So let's see what we can do with it. We need another mesh container so that this is... So we just need to extrude this out. We need to get rid of these guys. Monty, thanks for the follow, man. Uh, Season Drag, thanks for the follow as well. How you guys doing? These guys probably don't need to be there. There we go. All right. So if we do like a, uh, where are we at here? If we go to Zen. So if we do like a, um, what do you call it? A polygon clone. Click on this corner. And then uh, with... Cloning, let's turn the cloning down to one for now. We just move it. It's like, come on. The clone will go there, but then we'll just tell the clone to happen like ten times. Maybe nine times so that we have ten. All right, and then we'll take all these. And then we'll merge the verts where they connect. Getting closer. I'm going to remove this loop. I'm going to go soft again here. Curious, what's up? Uh, I'm creating some stuff for this pattern here. Like, I don't know if we'll get to all this in the stream, but uh, we can start. You got today off, dude. Awesome. Dude, that awesome. Oh, what? 
Oh, I see what's going on. This actually needs to be squared a bit more. There we go. Nope, we don't need that. Oh yeah, these can, well, shit, no they can't. I'm like, those can be removed. So uh, let's do that and then something like that. Basically, I'm trying to make it so that the uh, the shapes in the back aren't getting uh, completely lost in like a flat view, a flat view like uh, like this. Oh man, there's some some shift flow going on, guys. Some shift flow. So you can see there's some like pinching that's happening. I'm just gonna try and like clean that up a little bit. Well, what's going on there? Aha. Oh, I keep doing that. Symmetry. Hi, well, thanks, man. I freaking... I'm all about this music. It's, it's good stuff. There we go. It's not really giving me the look I want, though, which is kind of annoying me. Let's look at let's look at it closer. I mean, I think this needs to go out here more. Well, that is a really weird, mm-hmm. Oh, a weld happened there. That's hilarious. Okay, so we'll, we're going to correct that. Oh shit, did I lose the whole weld? Oh, that sucks. That's no good, guys. It's no good. I think it was to there. 
Yes. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Oof. Oh, it happened over here too. Watch out when you're doing auto welding. You can mess your shit up real fast. This guy actually needs to come out here. That's why the welding happened. I was moving stuff around while it was subdivided. Oh, man. Oh, this song's pretty nice. At least it's starting nice. I don't recall it right now. Oh, man. More of them. Terrible. Okay, so we got that curve, then this loops around. It's not looping around enough. Let's uh, do this. Reddington, thanks, man. Seven months. Ho, oh, oh. ho. So I'm missing another loop before uh, before it continues on. So we need to uh, we need to repair this. So basically we have this this part and then it goes out and then it needs to do a little one and then back into a big one. I knew something didn't look right. I was like, what the fuck is that? Okay, so for this, I'm actually going to, uh, hmm. Let me think here. Just going to do this. Seven months, baby. Been there since the beginning. Oh, 
Oh man, that story I wrote the other night about uh, uh, Ricky becoming a, a weapons artist. I'm actually more proud than I should be about that. I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, oh man, this is awesome. Okay, so get this and then I'm going to extrude this out like that. And then we're going to cut like this. I don't even know how this is going to work. We'll find a way, though. We'll find a way. So this actually needs to uh, end. I oh, know this needs to actually merge into this. We'll do this. We'll shorten this length here, and then we'll move this over that way. All right, let's. Dang, this song's sick. This sounds like Mike Snow. to correct this uh, there it is bring that up delete that one okay I think I think we got something who knows who knows dude Ricky it's like a the epic tale of Ricky are you scared I'm going to read it out loud? Is that what's going on, Ricky? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Are you freaking out? Are you freaking out, man? No, we don't need that many. Jesus. I'm just excited because somehow I was able to integrate Madu into your experience. Okay, so this is kind of working now. Uh, this guy right here is this really weird shape, though. Uh, shouldn't be like that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's bring that in. Oh, see, this is where you shouldn't have... Uh, where I shouldn't have made it uh, stretched at all. Flattening it out again. What are you guys talking about? Do it, please. Do it. 
All right, I need to uh I need to find it first. You got the Shogun Elite? What? What? I got the mod. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we were talking about uh, how do, how do we get to that point? Oh, you guys were saying so. For anyone who doesn't know, Maru is uh, my uh, my little doggo. He's great. This guy. Look at him. Mm. So cute. Anyways, his his full name is King Maru. King Maru, the first of the Estrelado clan. Um. So in chat, they were like, uh, Pa and said, can I have him? And then Rick goes, that's not the right question. You don't choose King Maru. The king chooses you. And then someone, uh, Ricky said, I'm basically the chosen one because Maru chose me as his pet to keep him alive with sustenance. <laughs> that's how, that's how I got it. <laughs> uh, and then I said, whoa, I know 3D. And then Maru, this is when we realized Maru can talk. And he says, uh, he says, show me. And then all these Matrix references started coming out. And Ricky's like, takes the blue pill because environment artist, am I right? Because he's a weapons artist. Come on now, man. Got to throw the, he's like, here's some salt. Here's some salt, guys. You like salt? Makes everything taste better. Everything. So then I, uh, yeah, I go, you take the blue kibble, the story ends, and you continue to live as some dude plebbing around. You take the red kibble, and I show you how tessellated the environments go. Uh, and then, Forcing says, the prophecy is spoken. I'm losing viewers. I can feel it right now. Uh, and then I go, Rick looks at the red pills. He looks at the blue pills. He looks to his right and grabs a Glock. It continue, in a continuous motion, he rolls out of his chair as Maru starts barking. He leaps through a window. A close-up shot reveals the weapon separating into all these intricate pieces. The pieces merging into his skin. He looks back at Maru, now barking from the window as he falls to the bottom of the alley. Looking at his normal hand, he tries to understand what has happened. He looks at the sky, seeing rain only to be silenced by the crack of lightning in the shape of Dynasty's face in the clouds. Little does he know, a weapon artist, he was born. And then I was like, what the fuck did I just write? And <laughs> walked away. I, was like, I walked away from my phone. Feels like Dynasty's damning. Dude, Digital Bacon, what is up, man? 1987. 1987. Oh man, I got a little bit of adrenaline from that one. Mmm, it's good. Thanks for sticking around and listening to that. I lost at least two viewers from that one. <laughs> Aha, that's the problem. This. How is that even... Okay, so this... Just has to continue down like this. These go away. But this has to support that kind of flow to make a shape kind of like this. And then this one's not supposed to be so exaggerated. We figured it out, guys. We figured it out.
I should be a voiceover guy for <laughs> for ebooks. So good. Okay, now I need to figure out how to tile this again. I guess maybe up here. So if I delete this and this. Uh, these need to be straightened. Dude, this song. This feels pretty good. Okay, so those are working. We have our piece, guys. We have a piece. Trying to figure out if I can optimize this at all. I probably can, but we're just going to leave it like that because it works. Okay, let's see how this... Uh, see how this styles. We're going to save the shape too because there's a lot of shapes that are very similar to it. 50 Shades of Grey, voiced by Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, Alice in Wonderland or Red Riding Hood. Dude, that'd be awesome. Ah, oh, what is that madness? 100 bits. You're like, 100 bits. Like salt? Salt. Thanks, man. Off with his head. So it's like a super dark version. I'm sorry, I'm just working this piece to death. I want the shape to look nice. Whoop. Okay, let's uh, let's take that, dupe that off. I'm gonna just go over here real quick, paste that in there, just so it's safekeeping in case shizzle crashes. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Just gonna squeeze that in a little bit like that. A little bit of that squeeze. And then these endpoints need to be corrected and then removed. Oh. Okay, so one of these is correct. This needs to be corrected. There we go. Okay. Works for me. And then we need to this like that take all of these merge them make sure the merge only happens where we want it to cool uh, nice that is enough for me so Let's just take these guys, delete that one, move this right here. A 
Okay, so thickness of that versus the size of this, which probably means maybe like let's do that and that. Whoops. this close that's pretty close let's bring that in okay now that actually looks like it goes pretty far back it goes maybe about there and this needs to go up here and this needs to go back There's also this little weird squiggly thing. Whatever that is. I wonder if I can take this. Turn it this way. Maybe lose this shape. We'll just do that for now. Oops. I feel like we listen to this one. Oh, I finally watched it, man, that movie. I'm not really into that type of stuff. <laughs> so it was it was well done for me. You want more it? Kyle, what's up, man? How you doing? How was your food? Oh, shit. Is that a saxophone? I think one of the things that's going to make this piece work is making sure that these kind of curl forward. It looks like they're kind of curling forward. Matt's topology is so disgusting. Oh my god! Who has the best badge now? <laughs> Woo! That's what that little uh, emoji thing is like. Stubbles, what's up, man? How you doing? What are those? Does that say booty? Booty, booty, booty. Dude, 
What is that? What does that even mean? What happened? What is that? What is that amount? That's freaking. And then he's like, Kappa, I gave, I took the money back. <laughs> Dude, that happens to streamers. I'm like, I can't believe people do that. It's like, man. I don't think they can do it with bits, but with, uh, with like, uh, donations, you can, like, donate a ton and then, like, revoke it. You're like, man, that's raw. It's 100 US. Damn, son. That's freaking crazy. Thanks, dude. Thanks a boatload. Did it look cool on the stream? I don't even know if that... Let me just pop that again. You don't even see it. I'm disappointed in myself. I am disappointed in myself. Read why you do this. It's 150? <laughs> oh, Sweden's going to hear about this. <laughs> Why'd you have to do that, Reed? I can feel my face getting hot now. Thanks, man. Is that, am I getting turned on? What's happening here? This is weird. This is awkward. We're coworkers, man. I think uh, I think that amount requires HR to get involved or something. Oh, Jesus, cameras. No. Man, that brought back some weird 3DS Max vibes. Oh, it's too far. You've gone too far with the extrusions. Food was good? You're slow to reply? That's what happens after you eat, man. <laughs> you get slow. Like, what? What's happening? The food coma. It's real. It's a real thing. No, how do I, how am I doing this? What's happening here? Stubbles, you got to jump on the uh, Discord every once in a while. Be nice to see you in there. Would be nice to experience your presence, Mr. Stubbles. I hope you're having enough sushi for me. It's really important to me that you have sushi while you're over there. I say while you're over there because you're going to come to Sweden, I, I swear it. <laughs> you're like, ah, I was like, you wait, man, the pressure's going to be real. You're going to think you're under interrogation. Then before you know it, you're in Sweden. You're like, what happened? It's like, well, I, I talked to uh, the United States. I told them... Uh, you did some messed up things, and they deported you to Sweden to face your crimes. But in Sweden, when you go to jail, they've just put you to work. <laughs> so they're going to arrest you and send you to Massive. <laughs> See how I did that? I got around. Got around the system, man. Man, I'm not feeling any of this geo. Hmm. I wonder if I take these guys up here. Uh, uh, things escalate really quickly with stubbles. You have to just... Take him by the horns like the teddy bear with horns he is. Because <laughs> that makes so much sense, right, Souls? <laughs> like, what am I saying? Man, I, I think I'm going to need to, like, take a shower. <laughs> that, uh, that donation, uh, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know how to handle that. Thanks, man. So none of that will come through in the normal, but I want that, that crease in the normal to, to show up. Looks like mittens. You can smell me from there? Does it smell like, uh... I'm not even gonna say that. I don't even know what I would say to make that make sense. Smells like white stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Twinkies are good, man. Twinkies are really good. Dude, the real white stuff. Oreos, man. Oreos. It's good shit. Right, Stubbles? Oreos, man. Oreos here, they have a weird, uh, they have a weird taste to them. They taste like they're... A little more healthier for you than they are in, in the States. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our mittens uh, tiling going on here, it looks like. I think it's going to hold up. Yeah, mittens for days. Alright. So that, scale-wise, looks... Like, for every one of these, there's two of those. So, two, four, six. Six, I can math. Yes. Feels good. Feels good, man. Oh. Uh. Just going to merge these bad boys. Oreos with peanut butter dip. Holy cow. Holy cow. Way too sweet stubbles. You just need to... <laughs> you just need to fry them, man. <laughs> it's way better. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm not really into that. But uh, I've tried it. It is uh, it is pretty good. But don't do it. It's frying everything. So I don't know. Digital bacon. 87 striking back with another message. How did you get into streaming? Uh, that's a that's an interesting question. Um, I got into streaming because it looked fun. I don't know. I it's always been me trying to go. Hey, I this is a way for me to like push myself to get better, right? And it started with StarCraft. Actually, I was already in the industry for four years at the time. I think. And, uh, I was getting really into StarCraft and StarCraft 2, to be honest. Uh, yeah. What? Donate to me so I can be a, a bit on air. I don't even, I can't even say that right. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. So I started streaming, uh, getting better at, dude, it's like the same format as what I'm doing now. It's like getting better at. Um, Starcraft 2 and I think back then my username was Frozen also spelled wrong funny enough um, and uh, yeah I just kind of like started doing that that was really fun there's still people that come into the stream every once in a while and do that dude the streaming then was way more hardcore A Bitcoin connoisseur. Um, no, it was it was crazy. I don't even know how I had the time to do that. Uh, basically, I was streaming every morning when I woke up. I would wake up at 6 and I would stream for 3 hours. Uh, I requested a username change and they did it for me. But... Um, I think actually no when I, I I think when I started streaming they had already I'd already changed my name to Dynasty. And when I was streaming it was Justin TV. It had not switched to Twitch yet, I don't think. 
It was right on the verge of happening, though. That's for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I was streaming, streaming, uh, getting better at StarCraft. And then, uh, I was streaming every day, Monday through Friday, in the morning, for three hours each time. Wouldn't that be cool if I did that now? Um every single morning without fail and you watch me go from bronze to diamond uh as a zerg so that was pretty fun and then uh i switched jobs and then i needed to focus on work so that just kind of slowed down and then i didn't start streaming again until uh, uh when was it until i was waiting for my work visa to come to sweden because that wait was long, long. So while I was waiting for that, I was streaming every day for about seven hours at a time. And that's, like, if you go to my portfolio, that's where that wagon came from. I was just working on that wagon piece. Um, yeah. And then after that, I came here and then I wasn't doing, I didn't stream until maybe two years ago. Two and a half years ago. And I started streaming and I was like, I'm going to just start uh, streaming from start to finish this this scene. I'm going to make it absurdly huge. And the goal is to just learn. And uh, two years later, we're here. Uh, the scene's nowhere near done. But that's fine because we're still learning things. And uh, But the community has grown like way past like what I could have ever even imagined it would get to. So that is really cool. And that's all you guys. Like, you guys are just making magic. And I'm watching it, all of you get jobs in the industry. It's freaking the coolest thing ever. And I'm kind of doing basically what I wanted uh, what I wanted to happen to me. Or, like, the kind of resource that I thought I had needed when I was going through school. If that makes sense. Like, that just does not, it does not exist it did not exist when I was in school. Tasty magic. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so... We got this guy. This is a little too... Oh, man. Oh, man. 100 bit of Roonies. I don't even know how to say it, man. Narsoni? Narsoni? Narson? Narsoni? I don't know. You're here to dethrone Reed, dude. I'm gonna gonna take some time. Whoa, that story, Nars, Nars one, them bits. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Nars. How are you doing, by the way? Was that a crazy story? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, what's crazy is this song. So I'm making some minor adjustments. It's like right on the, I think there's a little bit more room there. And you take this actually and delete the, these guys. How come I can't? There we go. Wow, that's really weird. It's the other alt? Only? Dude, this song is like the most epic thing I've ever heard.
What is that madness? Oh, Bedlam. Dude, thanks, man. Crunchy jam. So crunchy. Uh, some good tutorials for fantastic presentation. Or fantastic tutorials on presentation in Toolbag. Uh, I actually have not used too much Toolbag. I should probably get on that train so that I can answer questions for you guys. But alas, I have not. All the bits tonight. Was it like payday? Is it payday somewhere? Speaking of payday, dude, it's very strange going from being paid every two weeks to being paid every month. Get so used to being paid every two weeks. You budget differently. You know what I mean? Yeah, the baker uh, in, in Marvelous is pretty nice. With the skew painting on the cage and stuff. It's good. Every two weeks, what? You have to, like, plan a budget and stuff. It's weird. Dude, uh, Stubbles, you remember getting paid every week? Every Monday, you get a paycheck? The contract life, guys. The contract life. Man, Bedlam. Thanks again, dude. That's awesome. Thank you. Aquent days. Oh, man. Those, those guys, uh, I, they haven't in a while, but they used to contact me quite a bit. Like, so, yeah, is Sweden, uh, Sweden boring yet? I was like, not as boring as your healthcare plan. <laughs> Hey, Dynasty, what is the best UV packer? Uh, I'm not sure. I think there's a... What's that? Uh, what's the external one? The one where you have to export out stuff. You have to export out the asset into it, and then uh, there's a bridge for it, too, from Moto into it. I can't even remember what it's called. Man, I'm not feeling this piece still. Why is that? That is going to bug me, guys. I am sorry. I helped a little bit. Thicken it up. How's this look if I... Oh, yeah, that's great. Don't do that. Is it Hedis? I think it might be Hedis. You can't jinx in chat, dude. There's like seconds differences between you guys. It's impossible. We just fused. All right, we got 15 minutes left. I I guess I can just keep answering questions in chat. Alert animation stuff for Twitch streamers? Dude, I'll buy some of that. You now own your soul? Whoa. I thought it was just a soda. A pop. A soda pop. A soul, though. Man, that's pretty... Do the kids know this? That's freaking... That's intense. That's a little... It's, it's, uh, there's going to be some regulations on that. That's a little crazy. Okay, I think... I think we're looking pretty good here. It's funny is we've only gotten to this side of the stuff there. Uh, looks like we can mirror it, though, on the other side. So let's, uh, let's, lettuce and tomatoes.
Oh, no. No, oh, I'm trying to. <laughs> gotta do it with the. Gotta do it with the polygons, guys, not the verts. Just gonna dupe those verts around. Oh God, now I'm optimizing. Ah, what's happening? We okay? Is everything okay? Oh, I just did that. We just need like three clones. That should be, that should be more than enough. Oh God, the, the chuggage. Come on. Just snap into place. Boop. I packed that looks pretty good. Yeah, hearing that is problematic is a little worrying. Oh god, where did that key go? Oh man, why is that bold? You know what that means. It means there's two on top of each other. <clears throat> Hooray, fixed. And welded. Hooray! Something like that, maybe. Holy shit, there's 71 people in here? Can everyone say hi? You can spell in any way you'd like. I'd be curious to see how, how you guys spell hi. It can be hey, hi, hello. Ah, uh, man, Nathan lurking, I see. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How you guys doing? Ahoy, yer. Yer. Hello. Oi. Oi, mate. Bonjour. Yer. Cheese, what's up, man? No. I am a winner, chicken dinner. Is that how you say hi? Whoa. Whoa. Muffin, I don't even know. Melandro? Que pasa? You like turtles? <laughs> uh, so good. I like turtles. Turtles. Okay, going back over here. Over in this place. Let's see if we got what it takes. Let's 
I gotta delete this guy. Boop. Gonna add this dude right in here. We're actually, uh, I think this is gonna end up taking up quite a bit of space. We'll just scale this down. This one's gonna take up two of these, so. And then we'll get the pattern in there. We just gotta make sure that this all fits. Obviously the pattern is not gonna happen this stream, but uh, you guys stuck it out with me. So I appreciate it. Dude, and all those bits, my god. Please stay for the credits. Those, those guys are throwing it down. Tim Dat Benik, what's up, man? Is Moto good without custom scripts? It's actually gotten better. Uh, a lot of the custom scripts that used to be just custom, right, have been integrated into Moto. Uh, I still like, I love tons of scripts because I like to do other things or be able to think outside of the box, but there's, there's a lot you can do with Moto without scripts nowadays. Hopefully that answers your question. Dude, this song is... I'm feeling this. This seems like it should be part of the Hotel California uh, cluster of goodness. Are you hearing that? I th I'm feeling it. Okay, so this is very close. Very close. What are your must-have scripts? Oh, man. I mean, honestly, with the stuff I've been doing, I think, uh, like, Gozi's pretty nice. It's not a script, really, but... Um, uh, this one is a must-have. This one allows me to just assign colors to shapes or meshes individually. So, like, say I need all these guys. You can just click it and it'll give you the material. Uh, it'll assign a material with that set color to it. That's pretty handy. Mainly because you can use it as selection sets too. So you can see how they're. You can see how they're all changing. Let's do this. I really like this marquee selecting stuff. So one of the nice things about this is you can do like, let's say I do this blue. So I can select this guy now and then just tell it to select all the, you can do this one where it'll select that material within the mesh container, uh, within its own mesh. Or if you select this one, it'll select everything inside of the mesh container that um, has that color to it. Super handy. So you can just apply, apply to your heart's content. Like paint selecting too, kind of nice. I'll just be like, yeah. So then I can select this guy, and then just be like, wow, and they're all selected. Um, what's some other stuff here? The hatchet stuff's pretty nice. I haven't used it too much, but there's a lot of really good stuff in there. Uh, there's the new Boolean stuff is really nice. The mop Boolean, you have to pay for that one, though. The mop tube stuff is really cool as well. Um, let me save this and I can show you that. 
All right, the bend. Bend is not part of it, but it's also really good. Let's just make a new scene, and we'll just go off of that. I'm trying to remember what the uh, what the hockey is for it. <laughs> Control shift D, there it is. Oops. So you can be like create create tube, but uh obviously this is pretty basic for a lot of uh people outside of um Moto, but Moto's always had some spline issues. But now you can just um let's see here. You can do this type of stuff. Which is cool. That's like pretty standard. But with that script, you can, um, if I do it right, you can create a tube out of it. And you can select a profile, and it'll give you the shape. And you can then modify that um, and do whatever you want. If I need these sides to be extruded outwards, I can do that. Whoops. Like so. And they'll just be, it's kind of cool. And then if I select this guy, see that goes away. And then um, I can select the profile. I can select the curve. And then I can move it around. And then the uh, the curve also updates the the quality of the spline based on like what whatever you um, where you need resolution. It'll add more. I mean, it's nice. It's got issues and stuff, but it's it's good. Um. All the Boolean stuff's really good. Booleans are really fast. This thing is magic. So in here, Seneca scripts. Um, these are all scripts. Um, so say you want to... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's a good... There's all, there's all types of crazy shit in here. But if you hold down Control and Shift... You can map any of these to hotkeys, so you can just kind of like hotkey on the fly to do stuff. But there's a, there's a freaking there's a shit ton of them in here. Um, oops. The I really like this the Zen UI. So this is the Moto's default UI, and this this is cool. I'm down. I'm down with this. Uh, but the the Zen UI basically tries to get rid of as much UI as possible, so then you can just like, uh, based on like what you're doing. Oh, oops. Oh yeah, this is not a mesh. That's right. Um, let me just close this. We're about to head out of here, guys. Um, based on what you're doing, the buttons on the side will update, and if you press V, you get all these hotkeys here, or like quick quick selection. Aligning stuff like that. So aligning stuff to pivot and okay. I'll show you that and then I'll get out of here. Let's see if this crashes. Ooh. Sometimes that thing can be a bit buggy. So um so if you're moving stuff around, right? If you press five, you're in uh here I'll go to the default UI because it's easier to um show. So if you go to the default UI, um and five goes into item mode. That's like selecting a mesh container. Mesh containers are like where all of your geometry resides. So you can, once you go into polygon mode, you can copy and go into another mesh container and paste. And then if you're moving in polygon mode, you're moving the polygons around, but the mesh container maintains its position. Now, uh, I usually move things in polygon mode all the time. Uh, if you hold down control, what is it? Oh man, I do it in in Zen, and in here you can you can kind of you can cheat on there how you get to snapping and stuff. But uh, so if you snapping's here, you can toggle with X. Uh, if you hold the Alt and click it, you can get this pop up here. And uh, if you turn on vertices, this is what I usually have on. So turn on vertices. Anything you highlight, the pivot moves to, and then you can move and any any vertices that you go to 
it's going to snap because you've got vertice snapping on. I usually like uh, vertice edge and edge center because it allows you to do some um, some nice centering of things. So let's say let's say you remove that. We'll just center that up. You can see the percentage up here, which you can also drag around if you want. So that's 50%. And there's no, say there's no edge in here going to 50%. You can still grab this one and move, like snap to vert, and then move and snap to center of, of edge. That's super nice. Um, so now we know that that's centered up. You don't even need this in here because you can, uh, with X on, you can actually move the pivot to the center of an edge. Super, super useful. Um, so snapping things to the grid becomes uh, pretty simplistic when it comes down to, let me see if I can find like a good. So if you hold down, if you press X, turn snapping on, right? Press the move key, go to your vert, um, turn these ones off and just turn grid on and you can just move and it'll snap to the grid. Uh, the other thing is recent motos, you can, in the recent moto, you can actually uh, stop the grid from scaling, but the grid will automatically scale. And I don't think you guys can see it. Let me see if I can do this. Let me just bring this up here. So down here, you can see uh, the size of the grid. So that's at one meter, 500 millimeters, 200 millimeters, 100. So that's, that's one meter. So for every one of these cubes is a meter. So if you need to snap stuff to a meter grid, then that's that. And you can go into your settings and, and get that to lock into place. But you can just, you can just keep doing this. And then if you press X and N mesh paste, X and mesh paste. So now I have multiple mesh containers that are all separate from each other. And then when you're in mesh container, you can shift H to hide, um, shift U to unhide all. So you can select these and then hide that and then do this. You can be in here. You can copy that one, press five, go to this one, paste, and then go to this one, hide that. Now you have this polygon that I've copied and pasted over and it's not welded or anything, right? So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty robust. Later stubbles. Anyways, we can talk more about that uh, on another stream if you would like. Um, and feel free to ask me in Discord, whatnot. I'm all about spreading the moto love, but uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Make sure that you uh, stick around for the credits. I'm not forcing commercials or anything, but uh, for anyone who donated or anything like that, they'll be up in there, up on that list. Also, I'm looking to start spreading the, uh, what do you call it? the stream to other things that allow for music to play on them. So I might be on Periscope as well soon. And yeah, let's see here. I have to log into Twitch and then I'll uh, do some, do some stuff for you for the people who kindly donated. Oh shit, I need my freaking phone. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thank you guys. Uh, stuff's coming soon. And by stuff, I mean, you know, the credits. Nothing too special, just awesome people supporting. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Yes, Thursday.